AFTV, um, you heard what he just said. He goes, he's concerned and worried. Where are you at? Um, I'm not there yet. I'm not, I'm not there yet. And, and I, I think the reason I'm not there yet is that we kind of came out too quick. So if you look at where we were halfway through at 50 points, like that was a ridiculous pace. And I think that we have to realise that with the youth of this team and the inexperience in some areas of this team, that was probably too much too early. Um, I mean, from how City came out today and how they set up and how they uh, kind of killed the game and took the thing out of the game when we started to try and build the ascendancy, we don't have that element in our game. Our game is still a 100 mile an hour game and if we don't hit the, hit the ground run at 100 miles an hour we don't get the goals we don't do the stuff like I think you said it there isn't necessarily a second phase or, or, or a plan B or another option um, and as a result of that it, it, it causes a few issues um, and obviously we, we're, we're in a dip of form like you know we've taken one point out of the last nine um, and that isn't champion that isn't mm. champions uh, that isn't championship form um, so there's obviously a concern there in terms in terms of where some of those changes. And despite are. that, we had chances tonight, didn't we? We did. That's the annoying thing, right? I think Eddie and Ketcher will look back at it tonight and think, "Wow, he had to, he had a couple of guilt edge chances tonight." Yeah, yeah. No, both I mean both of those headers are. Uh, a, a chance that you want a top centre forward to put to mm. put forward, and look, and I and I get it. It's been difficult for Eddie because I suppose with no other recognised centre forward, he's had to be played ninety minutes the whole the whole time. Whereas at least when we had Jesus and Eddie on the bench, you'd bring Jesus off after seventy minutes, so he wasn't really doing the full ninety all of the time. Um, but Eddie's obviously having to do the full ninety because there isn't a, another recognised centre forward to kind of come in. And I think lots of people have said like the, the element of jadedness is starting to come in a little bit. Um, you started to see it in some of the mistakes that are, that are happening. People are starting mm. to panic. They're almost not trusting each other with the same level of confidence that they have the first half of the season. Um, and I know obviously there's a bit of frustration. There's frustration in the game, in the ground around you know us, us overplaying at times. And I think Arteta has come out and said we did overplay at times in the wrong areas sometimes. But it's that risk versus reward, isn't it? And I think you know what Arteta is trying to do is he's trying to have control in that in our build-up phase, so that when we're able to break the press, break the press and get round teams, we're able to cause uh, cause chances and create chances. Um, and we're not doing that with the same level of efficiency that we have done earlier in the season. And that's somewhat of a worry. Villa game is a must-win now. On if, if if we were to drop points again in that, do you start to look at it and say, "Yeah, we're slipping away." Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, but I think someone else said it earlier. You know, Emery's the sort of man, not necessarily the sort of manager you want to come up in, in that in that sort of game. Someone that's going to be ultra defensive. He's going to set a team up. They're going to be incredibly hard to break down. Um, we almost saw the blueprint when Man City played them at the weekend in terms of what you actually have to go and do to go and beat them. It's whether or not we've got the opportunity and the ability to go and do that and whether or not Arteta is going to be further, further be brave and make the changes that he needs to make. I think he does need to refresh the, the starting eleven a little bit. Mm. Um, there is, a, there is a, a challenge that comes with that in relation to losing a bit of fluidity, but we don't have the fluidity now at the minute, so you're not necessarily losing mm. it. And with you know, the Leicester game coming up, the Fulham game coming up, the Europa League coming up, you know, we're going to have to start making sure that we, we, we're utilising the squad a little bit better. Um, you know, the substitution probably came about five minutes too late. He went to make one just as they scored, just as I think they scored the second goal. Um, but I think you've got to be able to ride those waves and not necessarily kind of have, a, have it set in your mind. We're going to make a substitution. It's going to be Martinelli off, Trossard on at 70 minutes. If the game calls for it early, the game calls for it early. If the game calls for something else, um, you know. I think we, I thought, I thought we were, we were in control the first half. I thought, and I think that we. That, the half-time whistle probably came at the wrong time for us. We came out in the second half, it was kind of okay. Then they made the change where they took Mahrez off, went mm. back more to a flat back four, put Ake out on the left-hand side, who kind of handled Saka a little bit better than, um, than Silva had. Um, and again, people have mentioned earlier, you know, if you've got two full-backs on yellow cards in the first half, like, half your instructions in the first 20 minutes of the second half has got to be, let's feed the ball to the wide men, get, get combinations going, get 2v1s going, and let's actually try and turn them and get them to make, a, you know, mm. give the referees a, a decision to make. Um, and we weren't able to do that. We weren't, you know, we've not been playing with the same fluidity and the same efficiency that we have been. Um, and that's a bit of, and that is a concern. Some of that is obviously just tiredness and the fact that we're not really rotating the first 11 like we should. So the finally say, so, if we lose the Villa, do you think it's over? 
I wouldn't say over, but we make it so much more difficult than it than it ever, than it ever needed to be. I don't think you can say it's over with with, with as many points to play as there still are. I think when we did a um, when we did a, a interview a couple of weeks ago, I said that you know the way that we match up with City creates a different game than Tottenham, and we've kind of seen how Tottenham played against them and how um, and how Liverpool played against them. Those teams that are kind of going to sit back, let City have the ball, let them play, and then try and hit them on the counter attack will pose City different problems than we did. And City did to us essentially what those teams do to City, which was essentially press high, look to win the ball, look to capitalise on mistakes, and and then actually look to look to kind of um, to create off that. And that's what they were able to do today. And like I think everyone said, you know, we gifted them the three goals with you know, with sloppiness. Um, and it's a sloppiness and those individual errors that you know we haven't seen for 12 months. We haven't really seen for the last 18 months or so that kind of crept in today, and they're creeping in at the wrong. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.